Hi all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. Today, I am going to discuss about perineal care for female patient. Let's move on to the topic. What is perineal area? The area of the body between the anus and the vulva in females and between the anus and the scrotum in males. So in the picture, you can clearly see that this area is known as mons pubis and this one is clitoris. The outer folding is labia majora. The inner folding is labia minora. Then there is a urethral opening, vaginal opening and anus. So the area between the external genitalia, which is known as vulva, and the anus is known as perineum. So the perineal care is defined as skin care to the region between the vulva and anus in the female and between scrotum and anus in the male. Let's see the purpose of perineal care. Proper perineal care plays a significant role in preventing infections, maintaining skin integrity, and promoting patient comfort. It protects patient from urosepsis, urinary tract infection, and yeast infection, which are common in patients who are bedbound for a long time. Here are some principles we must follow. The first one is always clean from far to near. That is, if you are standing at the right side of your patient, try to clean the left side first, then come to the right side in order to prevent cross infection. The second one is always move from more clean to less clean area. So, in simple, always start from clean to dirty place. The third one is clean from front to back. Let's talk about the steps of perineal care in female patient. So the first step is always clean the inner thigh first from top to bottom, both sides, right and left. The second one is labia majora, first outer, then inner, both right and left side. The third one is labia minora, First outer, then inner, both right and left side. And the fourth one is clean the cleft from top to bottom with a single stroke. And the last one is clean the anus from front to back. There are certain points to remember. You can use either towel or wet wipes or gauze piece according to your hospital policies and protocols. Remember to use fresh towel or wet wipes or cosmetics for each stroke. You can use soap and water or antiseptic solution that is bitterin. And you should follow all the steps accordingly as I explained in the previous slide. Always remember to keep the area clean and dry. So, apply soap first, then rinse, and then pat dry. Thank you so much for watching this video. With the five simple steps, I made it easier. I hope this would be helpful for you guys. If you feel the same, kindly like, share this to our friends, and subscribe my channel. My channel name is Jebin Shine. And don't forget to press the bell icon button so that you will get the notifications whenever I am uploading new videos. Thank you all. See you all again with one more interesting topic. Until then, it's bye from Jebin. Bye-bye. Take care.